Welcome to this webinar on accessing workshop slides and handouts using Claro PDF. My name is Charlene Cullen and I'm one of the members of the Spectronix consultancy team. Now with many of our workshops you're going to have access to lots of resources in an electronic format and this isn't just to save the trees but it also allows you to access them on any platform whether it be your computer, your tablet, your laptop or your smartphone. You can always print them out if you wanted to though. Now if you've registered for one of our workshops you'll receive information about accessing the handouts and slides as PDFs. So here's an example of a web page uh, a landing page where with one of our workshops and there's heaps of different links to slides and other resources so as we scroll down uh, videos downloading PDFs for the handouts etc so they're all available on the actual web browser at the moment that I'm looking through um, and I can tap on the slides so let's have a look at the slides for learning supports in the mainstream classroom and now I'm actually viewing this through the iPad web browser. I can see the slides, I can scroll through and look at them all. So it's a bit like a viewer. I can also just tap on the slide and I've got the option to open that in iBooks from the iPad. So now my slides are a little bit cleaner. I can just swipe and read through my different slides. So that's in iBooks. Back to the web browser view, obviously this isn't all that helpful if I want to actually write on my slides and that's something I usually want to do when I'm in a workshop. Um, and also if I've got it open in iBooks, I don't have that option either. So I really need to be using an app uh, that allows me to annotate and we're going to look at Claro PDF. So to open that up, all I need to do is tap again and instead of opening in iBooks, I open in, which was just to the right of that. And that comes up that little menu if you tap anywhere on the, the slides. And anything that allows me to look at a PDF will be available to me to tap on. So I'm just going to scroll until I find Claro PDF and then tap on it. And it will open up my slides in Claro PDF. Okay. So I can see, I'm now able to see all of my slides within Claro PDF and you can see some of the little tools that I have available to me. I really like the simplicity of Claro PDF, it's not too hard to figure things out. If you do want to read a little bit, there's a help option in the folder view, top left hand corner. If I tap on PDF documents, here I can tap on Claro PDF help and then in the bottom right hand corner I can tap to open that up. So there's two main functions of Claro PDF um, really. One of them is you can obviously look through any of your PDFs uh, and view them, read them. But there's an additional reading feature for any, anyone who's struggling with literacy. So this one also reads and I can tap anywhere on my screen. Claro PDF is an app for reading and commenting on PDF files and documents. Claro PDF speaks back. Okay, I'll press the stop button down the bottom there. So you can see it was reading and highlighting the words within my PDF document. So it can be a really useful feature for some students who need that accessible text read to them. The other main um, function of Claro PDF is that we can annotate and that's what I want to show you. So if we're looking at the tools and the icons uh, within the app from left to right, I've just shown you the folder view where I was able to go in and open up PDFs within Claro PDF. The other option is I can open them from Dropbox. So if I am using a cloud-based option like that, um, it just makes sharing a lot easier. I can do that. Now if I want to annotate, let's just go back to our slides that we opened and I can show you how we can annotate those. So the pencil icon is going to come in handy now. So 
I'll scroll down until I get to a slide I want to annotate tap on the pencil icon and now I've got a few more little icons available to me I can highlight things so if I hold down my finger on that first T there's different highlighting options um, so let's just go with the highlight and I really want to highlight transparent okay so highlighting or I can just add text so the next T just tap on it and then tap on my slide and I can say great quote from Greg okay that's my little text box and you can move that around and do all your editing with that the next icon along is commenting so if I tap that and then tap on my screen I can add extra notes so this is where you might write lots of things if you really wanted to add some extra information to something that you've listened to and if I just type blah blah there and then tap off the screen you now see that little comment is just there um, as an icon and I can tap on that to open that at any point the next icon along is the pencil and this just means I can do freehand drawing so I could draw around tools or point to something or write I like this okay you've also got options to add shapes so hold down my finger on that one because I can see the little drop down arrow which just means there's a few more things I can do so you can draw lines make shapes so let's use the circle and do a nicer circle around inhabiting next icon along if I hold down my finger I've got options for adding photos or um, sound files so if I tap the picture icon this means I can add photos from my photo library which is just on my camera roll within the iPad or I can choose the camera option and just take a quick picture of the awesome audio equipment we're using to record this webinar choose to use the photo okay it pops it in on my slide and I can move that around um, make it smaller etc okay so that's adding pictures and you can also see a couple of other tools there including an eraser once we've done that we can edit and undo things done that's my annotated slide looking rather awesome there so we've gone through the pencil um, annotating options it's also useful to know a little bit about going into settings I won't go into great detail but uh, if you are using this um, text to speech option to hear um, any accessible text you might want to play around with the voices so it comes with some UK and US voices and you can go into the store to download additional voices so I've got uh, Lee there that was a couple of dollars you can play around with the speaking rate um, if you've got something that you want to um, keep reading the, the PDF uh, but also do some other things on the iPad you can allow it to speak in the background um, and also just speak on tap so if there's some words that the student doesn't understand they just want to tap and hear a word they can do that just draw your attention to one of the other important features which is the highlighting synchronized highlight you've got different modes so earlier when I showed you that speech feedback the text-to-speech it was reading each word and highlighting it but you can actually highlight just the sentence um, or do a word trail or turn that feature off altogether and just choose none so depending on the student and what they need you might use that and you can change the color of the highlighting so there's a few other things in there linking your Dropbox account etc so done that is the settings and then the last few features I just want to share with you are the annotating um, are the sharing options so in the top right hand corner um, there is also the option to just bookmark certain slides or, or bits and pieces that you want to refer back to but 
these little um, the tray and the forward icon so the tray just allows us to save the PDF when we've uh, done all our annotations we can save it within the app or we can save it to Dropbox and then if we do want to share it around a bit we can open it in another app or we can email it to someone uh, that's particularly good if we are collaborating on the document. Now, a couple of other nice things just down in the bottom left hand corner with Claro PDF. If you have been to a workshop, you've heard some great things and you've got lots of slides and content, but you're not sure you're, you're sharing something with a friend and you said there was this really great uh, feature. They talked about QR codes, but you can't remember which slide it was on where you can tap on the search icon and it will look for text within your slides. So I've typed QR and now I can just go straight to page 13 and then I can continue to tell my friend about QR codes. Okay, and you'll also see just at the bottom in the middle are the playback and um, stop features for the text to speech and also just navigating options for going back, backwards and forwards through slides and lastly our thumbnail view and this just means that you know if you do have a lot of slides and you're up at the start you might want to quickly get to slide 28 and there you are um, it's a good way to navigate through your slides so being able to mark up PDFs is useful for workshops but it does also have a lot of um, applications for other situations you might need to share feedback with colleagues about documents that you're collaborating on uh, or you might have students who are writing assignments and so as they're wading through lots of articles and papers um, that they need to reference for their essay they can use that marking up feature um, and make annotations to help them in their essay writing. I'm sure you can think of lots of other applications too. So I want to thank you for watching this short video about annotating with Claro PDF. Be sure to check out our other online videos on a range of topics and hear from more members of our consultancy team. You'll also have a chance to use annotation apps like Claro PDF at our Spectronics Inclusive Technology Conference coming up in May on the Gold Coast with some really fantastic speakers. I know I can't wait. Thanks everyone, bye for now.